Preseason coverage continues here on the Trojan Sports Network. Football opens up at home this weekend on Saturday night against Malone. Rick Johnston joined by the head football coach here for Taylor University, Ron Korfmacher. And coach, preseason camp winding down. How has preseason camp gone for you and the Trojans? It was outstanding. Uh, we had a great, great group that came in, reported to camp. Uh, some of our rookies and new players, a great returning group. Uh, worked hard. We got a lot of quality work in, and uh, we, you know we're eager to kick the season off. Uh, you know, following spring ball and then the training camp, so much of that competition and practices against one another, it's going to be good to see an opponent. You had a lot of guys here on campus this summer. How much of a benefit was that to you and the team? Did it help you guys maybe get a little bit of a head start before preseason camp started? Uh, multiple ways, multiple ways. The team bonding and the work together, just the conditioning, the strength development, uh, multiple ways. We had about 40 or more guys. That's kind of a core group of our returning players. Maybe around two-thirds of our returning players have spent some significant time here in Upland on campus, either working or making sacrifices to be here and train together. And so, uh, you know, that's going to prove fruitful, not just as we open the season, but as we carry through, and it's going to prove fruitful in the years ahead. You bring back a lot of starters on both sides of the ball. I want to focus on offense momentarily. You bring back practically your entire starting offensive line and your starting quarterback, Everett Pollard. That group has been together for the last two seasons. What's it been like to watch them grow here in their third season together as a unit? Yeah, I mean, we're excited for what's ahead. You know, it's, it's going to be good for our run game and protecting a quarterback and our pass game. It, you know, it's a good, solid group. You see a lot the same on the defensive side in some areas. You know, in our secondary, we have veterans coming back in. At the DN position, we go deep with veterans at that position. Uh, so, you know, we've got several spots across the ball and across the team that have uh, veteran leadership and veteran experience coming in. Cameron Gray and Jason Munyon are two of those guys on the on the defense. They're kind of the quarterbacks both for the front seven with Cam and then with Jason in the back with the DBs. What's it been like and how, how has their roles changed as now, you know, they're here at their senior year and they've, they've been through this a time or two? Yeah, their roles haven't changed a ton. I mean, they're going to be some of those leaders on defense, and uh, we want to keep them on the field. And, uh, you know, just uh, in, in the course of a year and an off season, you get a little well and healthy again, so we're expecting big things from them. Health was a big story for you and the team last year. Multiple guys, a lot of your big playmakers got hurt, and that probably led to a lot of the struggles for your team last year with guys fitting in different roles that, that maybe they hadn't been in previously. How has health been this year for you and the team? Uh, good. You know, and, and you mentioned that. We don't think back on it and look back on it often, but, you know, really from our winter program, winter strength training, conditioning, our winter program on, each sequence, each phase of it, our guys have gotten stronger. Uh, some have returned to health. Some have gotten, you know, whatever they needed if, if they needed a surgery or so. But the team's in good shape right now, and uh, we're ready to kick it off. What's maybe one or two things that stood out to you about this team when you've watched them here in camp that's been a real positive for you and the coaching staff? Yeah, there's multiple things, but they've got a great spirit among them, you know, just in terms of this this bonded, tight bonded brotherhood of who they are and, and then how uh, our newcomers, our, our freshman guys and transfers have folded into that, you know, and and so, uh, you know, a lot happens in these two and a half weeks of training camp, you know, with school just now beginning. Uh, you know, we're excited for what's ahead, you know, not just on Saturday night, but in the season ahead. So excited about this team and about this season. A lot of excitement here with obviously classes starting this week on campus, but you guys get to open up at home, something you didn't get a chance to do last season. Is that even more special, getting to kick off the season here at home in front of the fans? Every opener is a special one, you know, but it is nice to be home. Last year we were on the road two games in a row. Uh, this year we get this home opener, and then we have a bye week. And then we play, you know, another night game in Indiana down at Butler, and then we're back home. But this early month, we're nearby. We're at home, and or we're in Indiana, and uh, you know that that's good. You kind of you have a different travel squad, and our whole squad will be together for all these games and all this preparation. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck on Saturday against Malone. All right, thank you. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. If you can't make it out here to Turner Stadium, you can watch the game live on the Trojan Sports Network. For football head coach Ron Korfmacher, I'm Rick Johnston, Trojan Sports Network.